Hi everyone, Sarah here with Signals Everywhere and today I want to introduce Benshi Dash which is an application primarily for the uh, VRN76 radio. Uh, of course this does work with other radios from Vero as well as the UV Pro from uh, Baofeng and other uh, radios as well that support the Benshi um, Bluetooth protocol. So this is a full-blown tablet application. It's only meant for tablets um, but this is going to give you full control from your vehicle um, right at your fingertips. So let me go ahead and put this radio into pairing mode and we'll go ahead and pair it up and I'll show you how this application works. Alright, we'll hit connect to radio and then I'll select the VR N76 from the list. And you can see that we're now connected. And it looks like we're having some issues with the um, the battery strength indicator, but um, you know we're still working out some glitches. Uh, let me go ahead and show you the scan mode first of all. So this is going to read all of the channels from your radio first and then display them on the screen. So the cool thing with this is that it's um, you know obviously it's a touch screen as your tablet so you can come in here and just tap on various channels to enable or disable them in your scan list. So you could be driving down the road and have your scan list and if you want to add a channel, remove a channel, simply tap on it and it will, you know, add or remove it from your scan list. So if I hit start memory scan, I don't know if you can see this, but it is scanning on the radio. So that's our memory scan. We can stop that and we can put it into VFO scan mode. And this is a special scan mode that I came up with. Um, so you can actually put in a start and end frequency. You can set your step size. And then if we hit start scan, you should see that it begins to scan both on the radio and on the screen. So you get that visual scanning indication. Um, you can also see that the battery indicator has finally updated. So like I said, a couple little glitches, but definitely making progress. Let's switch over to the channels menu. And so from here we have all the channels in the radio. So this is really fun. If I tap on a channel, it's going to tune to that channel for me and it's going to take me back to the home screen. So this is our dashboard where we can see everything going on with the radio. You can see I'm on GMRS channel 4 and uh, we're showing some local uh, repeaters here as well. And it'll also list any APRS stations because we are now in uh, dual monitor mode on our VFOB. Let me go back to channels though because we can do more than just tune to a channel. So if we tap on tune mode, this is going to switch us to edit mode. And edit mode will allow us to tap on a channel and we can edit that channel right here on the screen. And better yet than that, we can load memories from uh, saves. So I have predefined memories in here but we can also save memories into our dashboard and then reprogram the radio with those later. So right now this is a GMRS radio but if I tap FRS channels it'll begin to reprogram the radio into an FRS radio. So it's going to be able to very quickly allow you to switch from one set of channels to another without having to flip around through um, you know a clunky interface. We also have the GPS import, and this is going to find nearby repeaters from your area using Repeater Book, and then it's going to program those to your radio. And you can see Channel 4 is already updated on my radio as it's writing the rest of the channels. We'll give it a moment to read everything, and now you can see we have, there's KHCY, Channel 4, and um, obviously, like I said, we can save a backup, we can give it a name, so we'll call this test, save, and then when we go back to load up memories, now we have our test channels, we can go ahead and load those back into the radio. And then of course is APRS mode. This is automatically going to switch you into uh, split band VFO, so that you have VFO A as your primary for your repeaters, and VFO B is going to switch to 144.39, or whatever your APRS frequency happens to be. We can change that in settings, and then it will populate this map for us as well. Um, so we'll see if this map populates while we're sitting here. I am indoors at the moment, so it's not likely I'm going to get a ton of APRS, but I might get some that plot to the screen so that you can see what that looks like. If we head over here to settings, you can see that we can change our GPS source. I currently have it set to debug. I am working on radio uh, GPS and device GPS. 
Um, currently those are in development, but those will hopefully eventually allow us to use, the, say, the GPS that's in the tablet or the GPS in the radio to help assist with some of our programming functionality. You can set the APRS frequency for your area, whether or not you want to show the APRS packet path, and then how far is the nearby APRS radius. So you can change all that here. We also have a light mode, so you don't have to be in dark mode. You can switch between the two. It's completely up to you. Personally, I prefer dark mode. I think it looks nice that way. I'm going to head back over to APRS, and you can see we do have a uh, station here that is populated on our map. And if we wait here long enough, we'll see more stations come up. But that is the gist of the Benchy um, Dash application. So this is a free open source app. It is not on the App Store currently, but I'm trying very hard to get it on the App Store. If you are interested in downloading this app, however, um, APKs are available on my website, sarahsforge.dev. I'll put a link in the description. And it is a pay what you want style model. So you can download the app for free, or if you want, you can pay an amount of money for the app to help support development. Um, right now, the recommended is $10 for the app. But again, you don't have to pay anything, and it is, of course, completely open source. So if you want to look at that source code or compile it yourself, you absolutely can. Um, that's all for this video. I hope to do a lot more with this. Um, big thanks to all of my patrons and subscribers. And... Um, you know, if you want to get involved in this, um, drop me a line, uh, support me through Patreon, or you could support me by purchasing this app um, from the link below. And with that, I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.